new, 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 new. Okay. Uh, first up, this one is a coming soon, but you can coming sign soon. up for it. It'll be limited edition, but we're going to have this poster. So you want to celebrate Circuit Python 5? Get Blinka, V for victory. V is for five. Uh, v is for sign up and you'll be notified when they come back in stock. Yeah, one of the reasons we do these, it was like, it used to be so cool back in the day when like this new operating system comes out and like it's Tiger or it's like Longhorn or it's something. Now, no one really does that anymore. So now we have like, okay, here's... Yeah, we've got, we got the, the radio waves because it's Bluetooth and then the V for five. Yeah. yeah. All right, next up, we got two versions of this. Yep, we've got two uh, screens from Primeroni. These are... I think they were originally designed for their um, PiCade kits, but they're handy if you just want to add uh, LVDS displays, these really nice eight inch or 10 inch displays. We've got two types. Uh, it's the same driver board, but one has an eight inch display and uh, one has a 10 inch display. Um, and the board is programmed for that display. So if you look on the back, it'll tell you which one you've got. Like this is the 10 inch, it's a little bit larger. It's I think, 1060 by seven, and yes, actually, yeah, and this one is uh, 1024 by 768, uh, and I can show them off. Um, they're actually the same chips that we use for our um, everyday HDMI converters, but they're they've now on just like a specialized primary board, and they have the LVDS connector um, all ready to go, so it's a, a nice and easy plug-in connector. So these are really beautiful um, displays. And they've got a little button board as well, so you can um, turn them on and off. And there's also a, a menu where you can um, set the uh, brightness and color and contrast. And it's also got a, um, a I2S output, this chip, the RT, RT2660H, classic um, HDMI to whatever converter. Um, and if you want, you can wire that up. It'll give you audio output as well. You power it from uh, micro USB, has HDMI input, and here I'm just driving it from a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it's just plug and play. You don't have to do any configuration or anything. It just shows up as a display. Super easy. Okay, next up. Next up, we've got the Airlift add-on for Itsy Bitsies. So if you have our little Itsy Bitsy boards, you love them, they're so cute and tidy and small, but you want to add Wi-Fi, well, Ubox makes a little ESP32 module we, we program in with the Anina firmware and uh, pop it on top and you can use Arduino or CircuitPython. So this is a little demo, which I have. I also have the live version of this demo if you want to see that. Um, and yeah. it connects to the internet and it gets you stuff and it's all TLS 1.2. It's nice and secure. Um, it's pretty fast. It handles all your socket connection stuff for you. It's so nice. Um, so this is the Itsy Bitsy. So I just got stacking headers soldered in onto the Itsy itself. And then I'll just show this if I remove it. Underneath, this is an Itsy M4. So you can run CircuitPython or Arduino with this on an Itsy M4. If you want to use this with an Itsy Bitsy 32U4 or M0, you will only be able to do that with Arduino code because there's not enough RAM to run the CircuitPython core. And on the 32U4, the RAM's pretty limited. You can't do a ton. You can like connect to MQTT maybe and get some data, but you can't do a lot. So that's just something to watch out for. Um, but on the M4, you're golden. You can do anything you like. And uh, we'll have more itsy bitsies out later, of course. But this is a lovely way to add a little easy Wi-Fi addition to it. Okay, the star of the show tonight, besides the community and the Adafruit team members, is this. Yes, we have the Halloween M4. Last year around this time we released um, the Halloween M0, which was uh, a SAMD21 based board, a lot like this one. Uh, it was even in the Ada box. So this, you know, this is a kind of nice upgrade. Yeah. This um, has the same connectors, basically the same setup, but it has an upgrade display. The display is now 240 by 240, not 120 by 128. The chip is upgraded. It's a SAMD51 not a SAMD21, so it's much, much faster. It can do our new M4Is, which is a configurable, kind of rendered um, eyeball display, which is much nicer. Uh, and um, it's got, uh, as well, four side lit NeoPixel LEDs. So you can see that from this demo here. I don't have it on my live demo, but on um, the other demo you can see, we have four side lit NeoPixels and they are on uh, these corners 
And um, when you uh, program it, you know, you want a one NeoPixel code on it, it basically just acts like a string of four NeoPixels. Um, the eye looks really great because it's a much nicer IPS display, so it looks good from multiple angles, nice and bright. And of course, it's got the SAMD51 on it, so it's a really powerful processor. But you still get all of the goodies. You get the speaker output, you get a three-pin stem over here, three-pin stem over here, um, I squared C connections, you get Stemma or Stemma QT, eight megabytes of QSPY flash, on off switch, um, analog input or capacitive touch pads, uh, light sensor, reset button, uh, and all the goodies here, rechargeable battery input if you'd like to make it portable. It's the exact same size as the previous, so any old projects, you can now upgrade them and they'll just work. They'll just have a much better display and much faster processor. And of course, those wonderful side lit new pixels. All right, so with that is New products. Yay! New, 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 new. All right. I think it's time for a recap. Yeah, recap. New, 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 new. We got coming soon the Python V for Victory Python Five Celebratory poster designed by Bruce Yan. Sign up when we get these. We'll put them in stock. It'll be the limited run. For your single board Linux computer or computer, if you want to add on an HDMI display, these lovely eight inch and 10 inch HDMI um, add-on displays are super easy, they're plug and play. Uh, you plug them into your HDMI input and they show up, they even do scaling and stuff for you. Um, great way to add HDMI to your Raspberry Pi or other Linux board or computer. Um, the Airlift Bitsy add-on will add Wi-Fi Airlift support to your Itsy Bitsy from the 32U4 up to the M4 in Arduino and CircuitPython you can now add Wi-Fi, so small. The Halloween M4 is out. This is an upgrade over the Halloween M0 from last year. Um, now it's the same size, same silk screen. The display is about the same size, but it's four times as many pixels, 240 by 240 IPS display. It's got side lit NeoPixel LEDs for cool uh, edge lighting there, but still has all the goodies like the feather wing connector, the stemma connectors, uh, capacitive touch, speaker output, and all that good stuff just faster and better. That's it. Okay. That was new product.